Hey everyone, I'd like to share with you my top five 3D printed props for small format printers. Hey everybody, Uncle Jesse here. Just because you have a small 3D printer doesn't mean that you can't print some awesome 3D printed props. My first 3D printer was a MakerBot Replicator Mini, which has a build volume of about four by four by five inches. That is not very big. However, I was still able to print a lot of really cool replica props within the first year of using that machine. And still to this day, I'm actively using it for certain projects. So I'd like to share with you guys my top five 3D printed props for small printers that you can print yourself especially for those of you out there that might have just gotten your first 3D printer or are thinking about getting one and want to know what files you should try and print. So the first thing on the list is none other than a lightsaber from Star Wars. No prop collection is really complete without a lightsaber. Come on now, guys. This file was created by Bourbon Kyle and is available for you to download on Thingiverse. I also should mention that the links to all of the props that I'll be showing you today are available down in the description below. What makes this so great to work with is that he's included multiple pieces for you to print, so it's not one solid lightsaber. And again, it's all very cylinder-ish and very easy to print on a small format printer. <laughs> But Uncle Jesse, where's my lightsaber? Number two on my list of the top five 3D printed props for small printers is the Fallout 4 10mm pistol by Lilikill. This is such a sweet file to work with. He does a great job at modeling specifically video games as well as movie props. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out his My Mini Factory page. The guy has just some beautiful, beautiful files that you can work with. And what's great is, again, he's one of these guys that creates all of these components in different pieces, which makes it so easy to print on these smaller printers. Also, he has a number of attachments that you can use for this particular version of the gun. And by the way, he's always going in and refining the models based on more content that he's finding in the games or feedback from people, which is always great to see. And this is actually one of the earlier versions of the files and the newer version even looks better than this. It's absolutely great. Number three on my list of the top five 3D printed props for small printers is none other than Tony Stark's Arc Reactor. I mean, seriously, it's a Marvel prop from Iron Man and it's so friggin' cool. This is, again, multiple pieces, easy to work with, probably lots of supports that I had to deal with. I've printed, I think, I think three of these. Only ever finished one of them, and that was actually a gift for a friend. This is one that I've had for years and years and years. <laughs> years and years, probably a few years now, two years now. And it's uh, just really cool. But basically, this file has the ability for you to take LEDs and throw them up in there, as well as the bottom piece here can be used to house the actual battery for all the LEDs. There's also different files that you can work with for this particular model so for things like a stand for the arc reactor as well as this cap here a back cap that if you wanted to print that to stick on here as well so this is really cool and again it's from Iron Man you can't ever go wrong with Iron Man and Marvel and all those kick-ass movies well I'm a big Iron Man fan what you don't think you can print a mask on a small printer well, I'm here to prove you wrong. This is the Doctor Doom mask created by Four Mules that's available for you to download over on Thingiverse. What's great about this is that he's created a version of this file that is already pre-split and ready for you to print on these smaller printers. Once you have it printed, all you have to do is glue everything together and then start filling the seams. Here you can see one of my Doom masks that's in the process of being smoothed over. So I've started filling and sanding these sections of the mask and haven't started on this section yet. And the number one prop that I basically mandate everyone out there needs to go off and print is the Dread Badge from the movie Judge Dread or Dread 3D. This also happens to be the first prop that I printed on my MakerBot Replicator Mini when I first got that. It's just such a basic file to work with and it's super simple to print and it prints off in probably about an hour or hour and a half or so. I'm trying to remember, it's been a while since I've printed one of these, but it's a quick print and it's just great for you to be able to knock something out and get your hands directly on it. And in fact, I've got a few of these <laughs> that I've actually printed and never gotten around to finishing. 
Funny story how this all works for me. And there it is, you guys. I just want to share with you my top five 3D printed props for small printers. And again, if you're interested in 3D printing, there is a ton of resources out there and available to you. I highly recommend you checking out some of the Facebook forums, and I'll include some links down below to that, as well as over on Reddit, the 3D printing subreddit is a great one to start. I'll also include a link to a few 3D printers that I recommend if you're interested in getting started. And uh, again, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm posting videos regularly on 3D printing as well as Xbox and props and all sorts of other things. So hopefully you guys will stick around and check out some of my upcoming videos that I'll be working on later in 2017. All right, thanks again for watching you guys. And I'll see you later, bye now. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Check out these other videos. Is that a lightsaber sound? It kind of just, I don't know. I'm getting rusty with my lightsaber sounds.